next on Sweet Valley High. If we didn't live in Sweet Valley, no one would ever miss us. I am your guardian angel. Ah. Wait, what are you doing? That's him. Todd's been arrested. Welcome to Studio Winston. You're right. This parallel universe sucks. Back off, tree hugger. Farms, not arms. My parents kicked me out, man. I would rather walk around naked than wear dead animal products. Everybody's much worse off without us. No maybes about it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Jessica and Elizabeth Wakefield are in trouble. I think we should send down an angel. Well, who's next in line to get his wings? Wagbert. Uh-oh. Not the guy who keeps getting his head caught in a harp. All angels do get a chance to earn their wings. Okay, send for him. Wagbert reporting for duty, sir. Get that thing off your head. Your time has arrived. Pack your bags. We're sending you down to Earth. Earth? Should I bring my rollerblades? <sighs> I can't believe Lila canceled. <sighs> Look, it's still gonna be a great tree trimming party. Besides, I'm sure she has a good reason. Camping out for a sale at the leather factory is not a good reason. Well, at least Jared's coming. Jared? You know. The guy that I plan to spend the rest of my week with? Oh, Jared. That reminds me. He called to say he can't make it. What? He better have a real good reason to blow me off. I am talking full body cast. Actually, he's having pizza with the guys. Don't worry, all of our friends will be here. Besides, when have you ever been without a date for Christmas? Hi. There were a lot of Christmas cookies, but these were practically free. Halloween cookies? See ya. Where are you going? To the mall. What about our party? I'd love to stay, but there's this hot new elf down at Santa's corner, and he winked at me. Oh, Cheryl wanted me to tell you that she'd bring you back a Statue of Liberty snow globe. What? You know those plastic things that you shake and all the white stuff falls? No, I'm talking about Cheryl. Where is she going? To New York, tonight. She had to use up her frequent flyer miles. But I think I'll sit on Santa's lap. That's guaranteed to make the elf jealous. This one is a winking elf more important than a Christmas party with friends. Liz, it's Enid. She's got to go for any chance she gets. Hi, Liz. Jess, I didn't think you'd be home. You didn't think we'd be home the night of our party? And what are you doing on the ground? Um, I wanted to leave you popcorn for the tree. I can't make it later because Bruce is opening the Moon Beach and I have to work. Well, what about the food? Bruce was supposed to bring it. Was it by any chance turkey stuffing with cranberry sauce and mashed potatoes? Yeah. $7.99 with the beverage of your choice. <laughs> Refills are extra. <sighs> Looks like it's just gonna be Todd and Manny. Yeah, and now I have to see Todd on an empty stomach. That is, if they don't back out. Just please, Todd is definitely going to show. Todd, come on in. Have some eggnog. Sure. Ah, that was nice. We should really do this again next year. What? Manny's uncle gave us two Laker tickets courtside right next to Jack Nicholson. Oh, please don't be mad. 
Where's Manny now? Uh, his uncle also lent us a car. Well, I don't want you here if you don't want to be here. Great, I knew you'd understand. See ya. That never works, you know. I can't believe our so-called friends totally flaked. I know, it's like they don't even appreciate us. <sighs> you know, sometimes I think, if we didn't live in Sweet Valley, no one would ever miss us. You're right. I wish we never even met these people. <laughs> That's so sad. Can't somebody do something? That's your cue, Egbert. Make me proud. Well, at the very least, don't embarrass me. Look out! Did you hear something? Winston, <laughs> what are you doing in our bushes? Are you okay? Ow. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. I appreciate your concern. I really do, but I'm fine. What concern? Why are you wearing a toga? I am your guardian angel. You're Winston in a dress. You think I look like Winston Egbert? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Wow, thanks. You took that as a compliment? Winston's lost it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, wait, wait. I'm not Winston. Let me explain. You two wished you'd never met your friends, right? Well, I'm going to make that wish happen. Cool. How are you going to do that, Tinkerbell? I'm going to show you what their lives would be like without you. And once you see how important you are to them, I'll get my wings. Important? Ha. Nobody here cares about us, and we don't care about them. Look, I'm desperate here, OK? I have been trying to get my wings for a long time. The, the angels with the wings get all the girls. This is too weird. Prove to us you're not Winston. Yeah. All you've proven to us is that you're a nut. Got a mirror? Yeah, there's one in there. I can't pull a rabbit out of my hat, but this should convince you. Look. I can't believe it. Why do you tell me I had lipstick on my teeth? It's pretty cool, huh? Only you two can see me. Come on. Where are we going? Heaven? You mean? Close. The moon beach. <laughs> What's poster of Cheryl doing here? I thought she gave up modeling. She did. Glamour Cookies is her company. And since you were never here to be her friend, Cheryl took up baking as a hobby and turned a few simple recipes into an empire. Here's what I need you guys to do for me. I thought you were camping out at the big leather factory sale. Leather is murder. I would rather walk around naked than wear dead animal products. Lila, did you get hit on the head or something? How do you know my name? Gee, I don't know. I guess hanging out with someone for 12 years, it finally sinks in. It looks like I'm not the one that got hit on the head. So you're saying you don't know us? I may not know you, but I still need you. We're forming a human chain down at the harbor. We're stopping an oil tanker from coming into port. See you at the beach. Why is everyone acting so weird? Yeah, Lila's wearing a headband. Liz, do you remember the lecture you went to on deforestation a few years ago? Yeah, sure. You got the last ticket, but since you weren't here to use the ticket, Lila showed up. What was Lila doing at a lecture on deforestation? That's like <laughs> the environment. She thought it was about exfoliation at the time. Now that sounds like Lila. But talk changed her life. She rejected all of her dad's money and became a soldier for the environment. Is that, is that Kona Blend? Excuse me, you have no idea how hard it is to get a decent cup of coffee in heaven. This is so bizarre. What did you put in that eggnog? Hey, where you guys been? I haven't seen you like in a week. Come on in. Have a good time. Thanks. Later. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're VIP. Thank you. Sorry. What is this place? We're all the pool table. Hello, ladies. Welcome to Studio Winston. I am the owner of this establishment, and you are... Not in the mood for this. Where's Bruce? Bruce, uh, Bruce Patman? Probably destroying a hotel room somewhere. Later. Patman and the Pufferfish? They're playing Letterman next week. Bruce is a rock star? Let's play another game. Enjoy yourselves, ladies, and please save a dance for me. Yeah. 
Winston owns this place. Bruce was booked on Letterman. Cheryl runs a company. Lila cares about the planet. Wegbert! How did Bruce get into music? You were never in the playground to kiss eight-year-old Bruce Patton. Ooh, don't remind me. Well, he never developed the confidence, which later became arrogance. And his sensitive, artistic side blossomed, and he went into music. What about Winston? Fourth grade, Winston opened up a lemonade stand. Jessica showed up, flirting with him. He gave you all his lemonade for free. It wasn't even good. It was like he put real lemons in it or something. With no Jess, Winston went on to open up a little store called 7-Eleven. You hear that? Every time a bell rings, another angel gets his wings. I'll bet it was Irwin. Enid's here. The men can stay, but you ladies gotta leave. What? For Enid? Thank you so much for coming. Hi, boys. Time to leave, girls. Mm. Enid! Later. Enid, as a cheerleader, give me a break. What happened to my best friend? Well, when she transferred to Sweet Valley, no one was there to put her down constantly. It's my hobby. You have the oracle, I have making fun of Enid. Well, in any case, she's blossomed into the most popular girl in school. I'm the most popular girl in school. How about Todd? What's happened to him? Look, man, my uncle gave me tickets to the basketball game tonight. You wanna come? Basketball? Oh, gross. I can't stand basketball. Everybody's always getting sweaty and you can see under their arms. Without you there to encourage him as an awkward five-footer, Todd never developed the interest in sports. Todd without sports? What does he do? Computers, mostly. Ha! His life is over. He got a scholarship to Harvard. Your point? I've got to talk to him. It won't do any good. Casper here fixed it so we were never in this world. Todd will recognize me. He told me that I'm the only girl for him. <sighs> Enid, you're the only girl for me. <sighs> What's the point of all this? <laughs> Why is everyone around here better off without <clears throat> us? Yeah, we're not important at all. Look, no, just, it might appear that way on the surface, but if you look closer, if you look deeper, you'll see that. See what? I'm not gonna get my wings, am I? Look, just take us home. Nope, we've got one more place to go. Everything looks the same. Yeah, but I'm sure it's better. I mean, they probably don't even have classes. Where's the sign-up sheet for the Christmas dance? There is no Christmas dance. Oh, when the county threatened to cut the school budget, you weren't here to fight for the extracurricular activities, so there are no dances, no school paper, nothing. There's no oracle? Liz, look at the trophy case. Wegbert, where are all the trophies? Well, without Jess here to lead chairs and stir up school spirit, most of the better players left. Manny's on the basketball team? How did he get to be so tall? Well, he didn't. It's just everyone else is so short. He's the only 5'5 five -five center in the league. Wait a minute. I thought Enid was Little Miss School Spirit. Oh, you mean the cheerleading outfit? Well, there is no squad because she never goes to practice. She only wears it because she says it makes her look hot. She's not wrong. But I wasn't a spirit. Hey, Cheryl, you look great. Did you lose weight? Uh-huh. Five pounds, can you tell? Yeah. Save the whales. Don't wear fur. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Get out of my way. We have to make a difference. Oh, I... <sighs> Back off, tree hugger. Farms, not farms. Get out of here. Food, not farms. It's kind of sad the way no one's listening to her. Why? No one ever listens to Lila. <laughs> Bruce, I thought you were on the road. Dude, my band bailed on me. They're backing up Neil Young now. They wouldn't even let me stay and play the tambourine. Why are you living in a closet? My parents kicked me out, man. But I'm working on a comeback. Gimme, 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 gimme.
You just confirm what I always thought. Even in a parallel universe, Bruce is a loser. This isn't a joke. It's terrible. Everybody's much worse off without us. I know. Thanks. Isn't it great? Hmm? When am I going to see you again? <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get it. I'll meet you at the Moon Beach at 9.30. Todd should be asleep by then. Great. I have my uncle's car. We can go cruising, maybe even stop at Miller's Point. No maybes about it. She doesn't care about you. Who are you? Don't hurt me. I'm gonna hurt you. I love you. It's me, Liz. You've gotta remember, Todd. You've gotta remember me. Go away. You're scaring me. Ina doesn't like me talking to other girls. Ah. Wait, what are you doing? That's him. This student broke into the school records and changed grades. It couldn't be. Not Todd. It's true. I did it for Enid. She doesn't always have time to study. I also broke into the bank of Sweet Valley's computer and transferred money to my account. Oh, you would have caught me eventually. <laughs> if I don't buy you an expensive gift, somebody else will. Well, don't worry, Wilkins. If you're lucky, you'll get to share a cell with your good buddy, Egbert. Winston? Why? Because even teenage millionaires have to pay their taxes. Get this cyber vermin out of my sight. I get one phone call. I need to call Enid. Yes. Where's Wegbert? What is it? Looks like you just saw a ghost. Well, another ghost. Don's been arrested. If we'd been here, none of this would have happened. I want things back to the way they were. I just want to live in the old Sweet Valley again. The real Sweet Valley. Lighten up, sis. Wegbert, you've got to get us back. We've learned our lesson. I haven't. Jared. Could you drive me to the drugstore later? I'm getting low on nail polish. Sure, I was going to have pizza with the guys, but for you, I'll cancel. <laughs> you wouldn't cancel pizza with the guys for me. You're right. This parallel universe sucks. Wegbert! We want to go home. We've learned our lesson. What? No smoke? It's a no smoking building. <laughs> Did we just... Nah. So I guess it's just the two of us again. What are you talking about? We have popcorn, Halloween cookies. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! See, look who's here, Jess. <laughs> we can let you be alone on Christmas. Flights leave New York every 15 minutes. <laughs> Two dollars are a dime a dozen. Besides, turns out he wasn't really winking at me. He just got new contacts. So I'm standing in line, and it suddenly occurs to me. It's my father's credit card. I don't need to wait for a sale. It's going to be a great part. I'm sorry I ever thought about not showing up. I don't want to be anywhere but here with you. Plus, the game was canceled. He's kidding. Tell her you're kidding. Winston convinced me we wouldn't do any business, and everybody would be here. We have friends. Where's Winston? I got wings! Congratulations! Spicy, mild, and extra crispy barbecue. Ow! Thank God these things come with an airbag. You're welcome. glad we're back. I love living in Sweet Valley. And for some reason, I love all of her crazy friends. Even Winston. And if you ever tell anyone I said that, I'm gonna put itching powder on your bra. <laughs> Don't worry, sis. Your secret's safe with me. All right. 
but only because I drank all your lemonade. And after this, we're even. Is she really everywhere? Well, a reflection.